What's up, y'all? Welcome to Political Fight Club. I told you guys earlier I was going to do the Jerk of the Week episode, and I'm actually going to do two. I've decided to do one Democratic version and a Republican version. And uh, right now I'm going to do my Republican Jerks of the Week. Later on, I'm going to go after the Democrats. I've got four Democrats I'm going to put against each other. I have two Republicans I'm going to put against each other. And at the end of this, I'm going to kind of explain why... I think doing the jerk of the week and going after the Democrats is more important and why it just seems too easy to go after the Republicans, which is why I don't that much on the show. So, but let's show you how easy it is. Um, my Democratic, or excuse me, my Republican jerks of the week are going to be two right-wing podcasters or YouTubers. We've got Ben Shapiro versus Dave Rubin. And uh, if you're paying attention at all, you know exactly who I'm talking about. They're both uh, idiots in for different reasons. And I did a show yesterday on Ben Shapiro getting wasted by Ro Khanna on his show in like a 12-minute segment on the $15 minimum wage. So I'll synopsize that, and then I'm going to talk to you about what Dave Rubin did, and it was absolutely boneheaded. So I, I, I'll let you know who I think the winner is. But both of these things are more or less ineffectual. They're just righties being dumb shits. So Ben Shapiro got killed in his uh, debate on the minimum wage against Ro Khanna. Ro Khanna, of course, is one of the best debaters, if not the best debater in Congress right now, which is why I think he'd be great to run for president one day. Um, and he basically got Ben Shapiro to argue two things that are basically indefensible and extremely unliked by the, uh, or not favorable viewpoints as far as the American people go. And the first thing that he argued was that you as an individual have bargaining power when you go to someplace like Amazon and they offer you a minimum wage or a very low wage, you can just say, hey, pay me more or I'm going to go elsewhere and you can actually leverage those employers to pay you more starting off, which is bullshit. If you go into Amazon, they're like, yeah, you're taking what we're paying or kick rocks. And uh, Roe destroyed him. He made the argument that uh, monopolies often take over the small towns and stuff. So you don't have like, if, you, if your skill set is in working at Amazon or Walmart or one of these big companies and Walmart moves into your town and there's no other retailers left to work at, it's just a monopolization of that town's retail. And if you go into Walmart and say, oh, I don't want to work here for that wage, I'll go elsewhere, they'll go, fine, there's no other competition. So that was where he got crushed, uh, Roe destroyed him there, but the main thing that Shapiro did that was so stupid was that he actually admitted that he doesn't want a minimum wage at all. Now, if you know Ben Shapiro, you know that that's his viewpoint more or less but he straight up said it and like defended it that is an extremely unpopular opinion so he's shithead of the week number one the uh, number two seed coming in hot as usual Dave Rubin holy mackerel dude he had a take on his show the other day where he was arguing that the reason that Derek Chauvin the police officer who is currently about to go undergo a trial for killing George Floyd. He currently has two charges against him. He has second degree murder and manslaughter. There was a delay in the trial, which I covered by a day or two picking the jury because they wanted to consider adding third degree murder to those charges. And Dave Rubin thought that <laughs> they might be adding a third degree murder charge to the list of charges because it will be an unattainable charge so that when it doesn't, he doesn't get convicted of third degree murder, that there will be riots in the streets. So it's his conspiracy theory that a third degree murder charge that won't stick will cause riots in the streets because he's too stupid to know that third degree murder is not as bad as second degree murder or first degree murder. He has the numbers flipped in his mind because he's a dumb shit. And he goes, so he goes, they're adding a more serious charge to Chauvin because they know he won't get convicted and all the lefties will be so mad when he doesn't get convicted of the higher murder charge that they'll riot in the streets. So it's my theory that they are adding this simply to try to cause riots around Minneapolis. It's like, Dave, First degree murder is the worst one. Third degree murder, 
I, I think only exists in a handful of states because it's basically manslaughter. But Dave goes on this long rant on his show about like why this is they're adding this such a serious charge at the last second because they want to create riots you're so fucking stupid oh my god i laughed so hard i want to say thanks to the progressive voice for dropping a video on that uh that's where i saw this clip and oh my god i was laughing so hard dave rubin's such an idiot so um the shithead of the week republican edition has to go to ben shapiro um dave is just an idiot um, but he's, like, ineffectual, whereas I think Ben Shapiro does have uh, quite a few people more that follow him and take him seriously on the right. And he, the way that he um, portrays himself with how he speaks really quickly, a lot of dummies look at him and they think he's smart, whereas a lot of people can just see through Dave Rubin. I mean, that wall-eyed stare, like, you can tell Dave is just an idiot, even if you're an idiot, whereas a lot of idiots think Ben Shapiro is actually smart. And, um... He, but I am happy that he got wrecked by Ro Khanna. That was awesome on Ro's part. Um, but it's got to be Ben Shapiro that was uh, arguing against any type of minimum wage and arguing that you have bargaining power against these hyper mega corporations. Um, I mean, even hardcore righties know that that's bogus. So it has to go to Ben Shapiro. Um, but you see how easy this is? Like, it does it's in a, this is why I don't go after Republicans that much. It's like, I can tease them, but a lot of people come after me, they're like, yo, you, you must love the right because you go after Democrats so much and not so much Republicans. Like, no, I just don't like, like, punching idiots that are below me that have no power. The Republicans have no power right now. Why would I go after them? It's, it's like... This isn't just a roast for the sake of roasting people. I'm going after people specifically because I think it'll help the world. And the Repu Republicans have no power whatsoever right now, so why would I go after them? And the people that do have power, like the um, Supreme Court, for instance, which is all Republicans, I went after them super fucking hard the other day, and I will continue to do so. But you'll understand, like, I'm not just going to, like, you know go after Ben Shapiro and Steven Crowder, and I wouldn't go after Rush Limbaugh, yeah, if he were still alive nowadays, like, I'll make fun of him a little bit here or there, but that's not really affecting change, I don't think. That's why I don't do it that often. However, the jerk of the week later with the four or five Democrats who sabotage Bernie, and then there's a couple of Democrats who are in some other, uh, other trouble right now that have nothing to do with Bernie, I'm going to conk all their heads together too, and it's going to be a better episode. But I hope you enjoyed this anyways. I do uh, enjoy a good chuckle at the at behest of uh, <laughs> Dave Rubin, man, and, and Ben Shapiro, of course. We'll see you guys later.